Hey, this is Dave at HouseBearings.com. Today we're going to go ahead and replace the toilet handle using this, uh, got this from Lowe's, it's corky handle and lever. This house is a rental and you can see someone's, someone's job here is, this has old extension cord <laughs> or electrical cord here that I'm not sure why they didn't call us, but it's, it's a mess. And so this, this handle, of course, doesn't work. We're going to turn this knob to the right a quarter turn. So that'd be clockwise, a quarter turn. That way, once this, I have flushed the tank, the tank's empty. Now I can fiddle around with all the stuff without it constantly reflushing. We can go ahead and undo the chain from, from the flush cylinder. I'm going to take the chain off, and this has, has a clip. Like you press it in and unhook it. The toilet handle lever hooks to this and that's how it pulls it up and it flushes. But we're getting rid of this. So now I just gotta apparently undo whatever they did here. It's all a mess. That no longer works it looks like, but. So all I gotta do is take this existing handle out. Once again, screw the nut or get that nut off, then the rest of this should just spin out. There we go. And that's the old handle. So now the job's halfway done. How easy is that? Similar to this one here, like this arm right here is fixed. This arm adjusts so that it's, because it's universal, it can fit a number of different shapes within the tank. And you'll see what I mean in just a second. So here's our, here's our arm, and this portion right here will adjust. It has this clip, and we're going to pull that out. And now this handle lifts off, and I can put it in any direction it needs to go. And ours, the handle is set on the tank on the side like this, so we want this to sit something like, something like that. So we'll just go ahead and try that. Now, it's going to sit in there like so. That looks good. We'll see what happens. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this clip back on to lock it in place. There we go. Okay. Good. It's locked in place. And it looks like this is this also adjusts, which is, that's really nice because if I take this out, now I can pull this off, adjust it down this way or up this way, depending on your particular angle. So that's, that's cool. This, that's why it's universal. Okay. So those, those, that's how we want it. All we got to do now is take that off, take the arm off. Now we can put the handle in here. The handle just has this plastic nut and we'll put the handle in through the hole in the side of the toilet tank. And then screw this nut back, this plastic nut back on. Oh, it's reverse threaded. That makes sense. Okay, so that's good and tight. I'm just doing hand tight because it's plastic. And so that works. Now we can go ahead and put this on. Get our, get our clip ready. And it's just gonna thread. That's, this, you can see the splines inside that. So we're just gonna slide that over the the handle, put our clip back on to lock it. Okay, there we go. So now you see the holes in here. All we gotta do is connect our chain that's on this cylinder, the flush cylinder, to one of these holes, whatever is gonna work right for our setup. Then I'm gonna use this clip because it's bigger than the one that's on there. Okay, so there's the clip, and we will find the chain off the cylinder here. Okay, there's the chain from the cylinder. And so, 
I'm going to hook it, the clip that's on it, to the clip they gave me. And now I just got to find one on the handle that's about in the right spot. I think that's going to be great. Okay. That's where it's hooked through that first hole and right there. And if you need a little more room, that's what these other holes are for, but we've got it hooked on there. So it lifts the cylinder up as we need it to. I think we're good to go. Let's go fill it up and give it a try. Turn the water back on by counterclockwise, turning that counterclockwise one quarter turn and we'll let her fill up. All right, so the tank is filled back up and we think we have this right where we want it. So we'll go ahead and give the handle a test run. And that works, it works just fine. You turn the water off here. Okay, so all that does, it lifts that up. And whenever you lay it back down, it uh, stops the water from running out and the toilet will just fill back up. Next, we're gonna go ahead and replace all of this because this is about 10 years old and we just prefer to have trouble-free operation. And so in the next video, we'll show you how to do this. Hope this video helps. If you got anything out of it, give us a thumbs up. It does help our channel and we really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, be sure and subscribe. We've got lots more videos coming. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.